The Sanderson brothers have once again developed another dangerous medicine, and it is thrice as dangerous as the previous ones. I'm pretty sure that the news about the Sanderson brothers was just a hoax. It is not a hoax, actually. It's really true. The Sanderson brothers have developed yet another medicine. This time it's much more harmful than the previous ones. Oh god, no, 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 no. Why does this keep happening? Oliver just told me that Michael has developed another harmful medicine, but it's much more harmful than the previous medicines that the Sanderson brothers developed. Please don't tell me that Michael will come up and then poison me to death. Sally, calm down. Michael won't poison you to death. At least he won't. Fred Roberts, take Bubblegum White to be your lawfully wedded wife. I do. And do you, Bubblegum White, take Fred Roberts to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do. Very well. It is my pleasure to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Roberts. Yeah, but are you sure you are not going to move out? No, we are not moving out. We're just spending our honeymoon in Lost Golem, that's all. But we'll be back. Alright, we have arrived at Los Golem. This is where we can spend our honeymoon. Wow, I'm glad we can get to spend our honeymoon peacefully. Now we can get to do anything we want in this city. I mean, just look at the view from over there. I mean, it looks amazing. Well yeah, but it would be even more amazing if we can have a wedding party tomorrow night. Exactly. Alright guys, we have arrived at Los Golem. I have to go now. Do enjoy the honeymoon. Bye. Come on, let's go to a house where we can stay throughout our honeymoon. And, here we are. This is the exact house where we are going to be staying. There are three lime beds and two lamps so we can sleep peacefully in the next few nights. Wow, this looks cool. It's a good decision about getting married, and we've been waiting so long for this to finally happen. Exactly. Alright, let's go to bed and then sleep. We sure are going to throw a huge wedding party tomorrow. Indeed. What the hell are you doing here? Can't you see that I'm preparing to go to- Shut the hell up! Gah. What the? Michael, please. Don't do- Just shut up or you're dead. Michael, you're crazy. Please get me out of- No. Alright, you know what? Stay here, and don't you even think about getting away from me. Help! Help! Oh my god. Ashley, are you alright? Of course I'm not alright. Michael heavily poisoned me with a Sanderson Brothers medicine, and he even locked me in a small cage. Please get me out of here before Michael sees me. But I don't even see Michael anywhere. I think you- Just get me out of here, okay? Alright, alright, alright. Jez. Come on, I'll take you home. You have to take the medicine just in case if you don't feel too well. Good morning. Wha- what? What happened? You have apparently slept on the couch all night. You haven't even came to the bedroom to sleep with us and you somehow slept here. I felt like I was sleeping in the bedroom when I'm actually in the wrong place instead. Anyway have you guys slept well? Yeah. I slept very well. The bed was so comfy that I wish I could sleep in it all night. How? You really are getting used to this house. We're glad that you are being friends with us. Totally. So what should we do today? We can eat breakfast, watch TV and all that. In fact, we are also going fishing because, well, because why not? Wow, I love fishing. 
I used to go fishing with my father sometimes. Exactly. All right, come on, let's eat breakfast. We have raw fish for breakfast. Good morning, guys. What can I get for you? Guy, we have to talk. It's very serious. Ashley's been poisoned. What? Now it was Ashley who has been poisoned. I mean, why does this have to happen? Look, I don't know. I was about to go home when I heard Ashley shouting out for help, and I later realized that she's been locked in a cage, but I used a pickaxe to destroy it. Oh god, no, 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 no. Don't tell me that Michael was behind Ashley's poisoning. If he really planned out all of this, we're doomed. Listen, it is highly likely that Michael was responsible for poisoning Ashley because, according to her, he heavily poisoned her with the Sanderson brothers' medicine. And you know what? Michael has gone far enough, so I'm going to find him, and then kill- Lucas, no. If Michael overhears what you are trying to do, he'll retaliate. He's right, Lucas. This would only make the crisis even worse. And if Michael comes up and then try to kill the all of us, we are all doomed. You don't understand. Michael is a psychopath for nearly killing Ashley, and I have to stop him. Lucas, that's enough. Gee. I wonder how Bubblegum and Fred are spending their first day on their honeymoon? Listen, I'm pretty sure they are spending a brilliant day on their honeymoon. But I'm pretty sure Bubblegum and Fred will come back after their honeymoon is over. Alright, come on, let's head to the waterfall. Good point. Let's go. Hi guys. Hi Finn and Marceline. We're just eating chicken while you haven't arrived yet. I served those meals and it's fresh and healthy. Anyway, how are you guys doing? We're doing good. Bubblegum and Fred's wedding sure was amazing. I'm glad they've been finally married and I'm pretty sure they will make a family. You mean Bubblegum and Fred are going to have a child? Don't say it yet, Mike. Bubblegum hasn't said anything about it yet. But it would be nice that Bubblegum and Fred would live with either a son or daughter. Oh. Not to mention, there is also going to be a wedding party tonight where it will be held in the same place where Finn and I tied the knot a long time ago. Wow, that sounds great. We can't wait to have a party tonight. What about you Michael? Are you coming to the party tonight? I would love to but I'm too busy with other stuff, so unfortunately I can't come to the party. Oh, that's a shame. Anyway, I will eat breakfast first, and then go to work. Are there any bacon pancakes? Of course we have one. I'll serve you one in a moment. Ah, good morning Fred. What time is it? I dunno, it's about 10 a.m. in the morning. Oh wow, we really must have slept long enough. I wonder what we are going to be doing today? It's our wedding party tonight, so we have to prepare ourselves for that. Totally. What the hell are you two doing in my house? I haven't even let you in. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down, dude. Bubblegum and I just got married and we have to stay at your house for a few days since we are spending our honeymoon. That's okay. I can allow the both of you to stay at my house. I'll tell you what, I have an extra bed so I can get to sleep with the both of you, at least until the end of your honeymoon. Good point. In addition, our wedding party is also going to be held tonight, so we thought we could invite you to join us. Wanna come to the party tonight? Sure. Why not? I can't wait to dance around the dance floor. I'm also a pub owner and receptionist of a pub which is located at the same street where my house is located at. You actually work at a pub? We didn't know that. Alright, we'll get up so we can eat. Ashley, what's the matter? Why are you not doing your work? Richard, listen. I've been poisoned. Michael came to my house and he heavily poisoned me with a harmful medicine that was developed by the Sanderson brothers, and he trapped me in a cage, but Lucas saved me. I know that. Oliver and Lucas told me about what has happened to you, but we Richard, don't you realize that I'm about to die in about the next few moments? Stop staring at me like that. Michael poisoned me with a very harmful medicine, and what Michael did was vicious and unacceptable. Can you please just calm down? Michael is just a criminal and I'm pretty sure he will be arrested soon. He should be. He should be and if the police don't do anything to stop Michael, we are all dead. Think about it, Richard. 
Michael and Declan have been developing dangerous and harmful medicines for a while, and this crisis isn't even ending at all. Ashley, listen, this Sanderson Brothers crisis will end, but I'm not sure how and when. If Michael continues to provocate us, there will be serious consequences. All right, you know what, Richard? I have to continue working, and I have to forget what happened last night. Are you sure? You have to get some rest for- Don't tell me what to do, you idiot! Ugh. Uh. Arg. Oh god. Ashley, are you alright? Is there a problem? problem. problem. What, happened? what happened? What happened? Oh my god! Ashley! Ashley, can you hear me? Please say something. Oh my god! What happened to Ashley? I don't know. She may have fainted. We have to rush her to the recovery room right now. Wow! It sure is great to go fishing. Yeah! It's nice that we can spend our time outdoors because that's the only thing to do. This is like relaxing in the countryside. Exactly. But has anyone caught something yet? I haven't caught anything yet. Oh hang on, I found something. Woohoo, check it out guys. I caught a fish. Wow. Well done. I'm glad you've caught a fish. Guys look what I found. Wait what is that? It's a fishing rod. It's actually enchanted and it hasn't been used for a very long time. Yeah, but does it still work though? Let me try it out. Wow, it's still working. It hasn't been broken yet and it works very well. Not to mention that I also caught a puffer fish. Well yeah, but I don't think we should eat this puffer fish because it's poisonous. Oh, but forget the puffer fish. Look what I found. I got another fish. What? You got another one? I mean, that's crazy. But to make things even crazier, I got another fish. That's three raw fishes we have collected so far. That's okay. At least that's enough so we can eat raw fishes when we go home. Look what I found. I got myself a salmon. Brilliant. I wonder what we can use this salmon for. We can use it to cook it, but not now. We have to sort this out in another day. Come on guys, let's go home. Wow guys, this party is awesome. Yeah, that's the same building where our wedding party was held. Exactly. We're just so happy that Fred and I can be married and we can get to live a happy life. Holy crap there are so many people in this building that we can't even fit in here. Yeah, but, who is this guy? Oh yeah, that's Mark. He's our friend from Lost Golem. Hi guys. This is an awesome party. I especially love the music by the way. Wow. I didn't know Mark is invited to the wedding party too. Yeah, but are you going to visit us at Castle Bush tomorrow? I would love to, but it's difficult for me to drive my way to Castle Bush, so unfortunately I can't go there. But I'll go to Castle Bush if I feel like it. Oh, that's okay at least because we can get to meet you for the first time. Totally. What? What? Where am I? What happened? Ashley, it's alright. You are in the recovery room. You may have fainted. So, I should have known that this Sanderson Brothers medicine made me ill the whole time. Well, I'm pretty sure that's why you fainted in the first place. However, we are still concerned about what will Michael do next. What do you mean? I mean, what will Michael do next? Is he going to kidnap the both of you? Ashley, listen. We just don't understand what you're talking about. I mean, Michael doesn't even know what we're talking about. Exactly. And if Michael comes up and then tries to shoot me just like what happened to Sally, I'm dead. Ashley, calm down. You are safe here. I'm pretty sure Michael won't come up and then hurt you. Ashley, thank goodness you're alive. I mean, I thought you're dead. She only fainted because Michael threw a ton of harmful medicines at Ashley, but we'll hope that she can recover. Totally. All right, Lucas. I am giving you a task. What task? The task is, you have to head to the Sanderson Brothers headquarters, pour petrol all over the building, and then set it on fire. 
you also have to destroy the medicines that Declan and Michael developed, and if Michael finds out about what we're talking about, we are in huge trouble.